hi all so until now in our application we have built a form layout as well and we have built the records as well and in the record uh, you can see I have added one more entry there and uh, all the details related to the employee like some some review we have also configured now we want that whenever a tasks is generated by if we click on submit uh, we want that task to up ta task type to appear here we don't have to user don't have to navigate anywhere else so for that what we actually need is first of all we need a process report and after that we will configure a task report so process report will be used to get data to get data uh, you can say here to get data related to uh, related to process so related to all the processes that we are seeing that instance name when it was started whom it is assigned to all this detail we will get from our process report and this is uh, displayed in a portal so it is displayed in APN portal only so or you can say some other interface are there for that process report so to uh, we will visualize that uh, tasks with with the help of task report so task report is configured with the help of there is one function a bank query process analytics so with the help of that function we will uh, get all the data in our interface as well so that user can approve it and take action so let's get started with this so first of all let's go to our objects view my APN has upgraded so the visual the visual can be a bit different okay so let's go to new and create a process report and we will click on create from scratch and here we will put a reimbursement reimbursement process report let's give the name like this description now two things are there what kind of report you want and what is the context of this report okay so there are three kind of process report we can make if we want the any process model uh, like all process model data if we want then we can choose this option or if uh, only the process model which is created by user for example all these are objects are created by me that we can do it or which are last modified by me in this way also we can get the data and the second report is process so you can see here similarly all the process initiated by the user or by the process model that also we can get but we are more focused on the tasks because HR has to approve a certain task which is generated by the user so we will more focus on the tasks for now so if you see here we will get a lot of uh, uh, options in the tasks as well so all tasks are there task attributed to some user so some user it is assigned some group is assigned okay so particularly in this process model what do we have here is we have a one process model and in that process model only we have the tasks okay so if I open that process model for now so this was our process model and okay so we'll click the report here as well let it open okay the process model has opened so what do we want here the whatever the task that has been created by this process model this HR approval task we want the tasks to be displayed in our site so we will what we will select we will select our uh, here tasks and then tasks by process model okay so and we have to give that process model name as well okay so let's do it reimbursement process report and uh, we have to select some document let's see any document is there or not already uh, okay let's create a new folder tr process reports and parent folder will be tr uh, knowledge center fine let's create it okay so now our process report has been created it will be blank if you start it it will be blank for the starting purpose and then we would have to select so see this is the blank template that has been opened and you can currently see here it will give you a message please select a context in order to run this process in order to run this report so initially when we created the object we selected which option it should run by process model now we have to decide which process model it is that we want to see the tasks so let's select our process model it will be in our TR so 
TR because travel reimbursement and only one process model is there okay let's click on ok and if you see here it will refresh and it will give us the task so if you see here all these tasks are there in our queue or whatever the task we have completed and done all these and their status are also showing and the same thing we want to uh, visualize it or show it in our site as well so let's see but there are few improvements to be made here uh, because first of all if you click on the name let's go to our process model a bit so in our this user input task if you will go to two things are there very important one part is name name is what HR approval and one is task display name so task display name was HR approval for some name is will be there and some cost will be there what is being displayed here is the name we don't want the name we want the task display name because that is dynamic and that is a best practice as well so we'll go back to our edit and here we will change it so let's go to edit and here in the general find nothing is there in data so this name is there uh, all values we can set from here so name is there and let's check the name Hmm. what is the definition see for the tasks to be displayed so I have we have discussed multiple times like uh, there are some domains uh, to refer processor use PV bank similarly uh, to display task properties we use TP bank so TP bank name is giving us what TP bank name is giving us this name but we want this name display name so what we will do we will remove the name part and we'll see what where is that display deadline description display ha huh. see if you see here this this is the display the task display name clearly it is written so let's select the task display name fine let's save and close it for now okay and we'll see okay so now if you see here see HR approval for LX weight for amount 15 it has changed right okay and uh, uh, HR approval for Potter, Steve, Steve L all these values have changed and currently we can see like it's not you know most recent task is not uh, in the first it is 28 so let's sort it by the date time so here only we can sort so we want to set by start time let's set it ha, now you can see here the most uh, recent task is coming at the last so we can set that as well now it is fine okay now we want that the user should click on the link it should be linkable so that they can select the task so to make it linkable we'll again go back to the data okay and we'll go back to our name and we will make a link out of it so formatting is there formatting is normal test fine and see if we click on the link what we should get more details right clicking on the data links for further information yes we do want and what kind of details we want that we have to uh, search here like if we click that link what should we actually get so if you see here process and task pages are there people are there discussions are there document are there so if we click on the, that link do we need any document related information no any people nothing ha huh. process and task we do need so in that we have to decide which one do we need process model details what user will know about process model nothing they want process dashboard no process ha huh. they do want task details that is the most important point here and this is TP bank ID so let's click on save save and now you can see here these are all linked so okay let's save it for now and okay let's save this let's click on that link and you can see here the task display it will not open here it will say like uh, uh, it can't be open uh, here because it is completed or it will open in tempo only so let's see something it which is only accepted not completed so this is just accepted so let's see this form must be viewed in tempo so to view in tempo and to make a task for that we will have to make a task report so that we can get the data in our tempo as well okay so uh, let's save our change we can do a lot of things uh, here uh, in the edit section that uh, is, we will see it later on filters indicators are there more data types can be done but for now that much is fine so that's all for now we'll meet in another video